Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my January update to hashtag pie or pan in everything Project Pan that was created by Jessica, and she is linked down below. As the title suggests, the goal is to hit pan in everything you can in your collection, so long as it has a pan that you can hit or a jar you can hit the bottom of, you can put it into this project. Um, and then once you hit the bottom of the jar or the bottom of the pan, roll it out and roll something in. So I've been doing this project, I wanna say for probably two years now. I will have my full playlist linked down below. And I have been working on five eyeshadows at a time in this uh, project. Um, if you guys saw my update last time, I had almost a full refresh. I was able to roll in four new colors, so I was really excited about that. And I enjoy being able to pick which palette and exactly which shadows I wanna work in for this project. So. I also do pan those eyeshadows and for that, I randomize it for this, I choose specific colors and I will choose colors that uh, work with my pan that palette or that will work with some of the shades that I got in my pan those eyeshadows. And I also have a lot of eyeshadows in the panners pan so that way I can kind of coordinate some looks and make full eyeshadow looks and, and that's kind of how I choose or why I choose some of the shades that I roll into here. So let's take a look at the color story I had. As you guys can see, it is so bright and colorful. I've been having a lot of fun with this one. So let's start off with this top one right here. This is from the Glam Light Cake Palette in the shade Icy Mint. This is from the ColourPop Blue Moon Palette in the shade Mad About You. This is a single from ColourPop in the shade The Aries. This was their collab with Kathleen Lights. This is a ColourPop Fade Into Hue palette in the shade Shine Bright. And this is from BH Cosmetics Weekend Vibes Mimosa palette in the shade Pop. So I've been really enjoying this one. So let's go ahead and start in with the one that did not get rolled out last update and that is my Glam Light Cake palette. I was working on the shade Icy Mint. As of the last update, I had used it four times. I have used it an additional five and this is it right here. So hopefully you guys can see, I have a really decent dip going on in here. I have heard that these Glam Light palettes that the pans aren't very deep, so maybe I can hit pan on this one for the next update. Whenever I do blue looks, I do like to dip into this one right next to it and uh, use that as well. It's the shade called Birthday Cake. I'll do a swatch over here on the side. So, I mean, it's a little bit deeper version of Icy Mint, and so I will use these two together um, as the matte shades whenever I do a uh, blue look. So, we are at nine uses on this shade, and I'm not quite sure how many more to go because I've never hit pan in a Glam Light palette before. Next is my ColourPop Blue Moon palette, the shade Mad About You rolled in last time, and I was able to use it six times this past month and this is what it is looking like right now. So you can definitely see some usage in there. It is a beautiful shade. I do like to pair it with the blue that I'm working on in my uh, Glam Light Cake palette. So six uses and several more to go in this one. Depending on the formula for ColourPop in the shimmers, sometimes it just takes me around 15 uses. Other times it takes me closer to 30. I have the feeling this one might be the closer to 15 uses on this one. We'll see. Next was a single. This was the collab with um, ColourPop and Kathleen Lights. She had a palette, the Zodiac palette I wanna say, and I didn't buy it, I just bought two of the singles. But this is the Aries that got rolled in last update. And over this past month, I was able to use it seven times. So as you can see, I do have a little bit of a dent going right here. Um, this one is this one's probably gonna take me the closer to the 30 uses to hit pan in this one. Uh, it is a beautiful orange shade and I really love wearing this one. Next is my ColourPop Fade Into Hue palette. I chose the shade Shine Bright at the last update. Um, so it was brand new and I have used it five times this past month and this is it right here. So you can definitely see I'm getting use in this. Yellow is the color that I am the least comfortable wearing just because of my skin tone. It can look, um, can look off on me, so I have to be really careful. But I've worn this five times and I do really like it. As a matter of fact, I guess I should tell you, I am wearing this orange shade on the outer portion of my eyelid right here. And I am wearing the shade, the yellow shade Shine Bright on the inner portion of my eyelid right here. So it is really pretty. I'm able to work it into looks. It works great with this neutral look that I'm wearing and uh, that's how I've been enjoying wearing it. 
And then the final shade is from my BH Cosmetics Weekend Vibes palette. This is the Mimosa one. Again, this rolled in last update, and I was able to use it this past month six times, and this is it right here. Just a beautiful kind of pink with some gold-type shimmers in it. Um, just just a very pale gold. If you, I don't know if you guys can kind of see that in the swatch right there. And what I do is I will wear the orange out here, I wear the yellow here, and then I tap that kind of pink in between the two, and it just helps get rid of that harsh line between the orange and the yellow. It just blends it together beautifully. I will also take this shade when I'm wearing any type of red looks, and I will use that as a shimmer on my eyelid when I'm doing red looks, and it works beautifully that way as well. So as you can see, I do not have any new pants, which doesn't surprise me because four of these shades are brand new and haven't been used before this update. Um, I'm just gonna keep plugging away at them and hopefully I can have some pan uh, next update. I'm, I might be able to have pan in this one. Um, like I said, the dips in here are pretty significant and I, I think I might be able to. It depends on how many blue looks that I do. I'm kind of trying to, I have a lot of eyeshadows that I'm working on. So it uh, depends on how many times I'm able to put to a work on a blue look over this next month. And uh, yeah, and then if I do that, I always wear these two together. So hopefully I can maybe have pan in this one for the next update as well. So that's kind of my goals. These other three shades right here, I just like to wear, you know, whenever I do my neutral looks. And I have been wearing a lot of neutral looks simply because my uh, Soul True palette is my pan that palette. Um, so, and, but then again, that has lots of shimmers in there too. So it's, it's a juggling act right now. It's a balancing act, but I'm happy that I was able to get at least five uses on every single one of these shades this month. So I'm going to count that as, a, as a success. So that is everything that I have for you guys. Please check out the playlist down below in my description box, or at least it's not a playlist. It's a list of everybody else who was doing this project. Um, there are lots of people still doing this one. So feel free to join if you want. There is no end date whatsoever. Um, just put it in here until you hit pan in your entire collection or until you want to stop this project. So that is everything I have. If you haven't, please subscribe to my channel before you go. While you're down there, ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Mm -hmm.